Guys, believe it or not, I've got a wiener dog here. Maybe you can see him right here. You see his little head? <sighs> Guys, it's Friday. It's Friday. Missed the upload day by two days. Am I happy about it? No. That is so rude. Hey, man. You got a problem? Technology. Bro, chill. We're recording here. Thank you. Jesus. Bro, <laughs> it's getting louder. <laughs> I'm just kind of bummed out at this DIY, to be honest with you. It's like it didn't fully work out. Right now, it's narrator down, by the way. It's a different persona. It didn't not work out. It's just it wasn't like a huge success, you know? You guys voted on having this video made. I'm gonna make it for you. But I swear to God, I better not get one comment saying, wait a minute, this didn't work. None of that. No whispering of any kind. I could pretty much edit my video right now without having to do any post-production. Okay, so today's video, we are actually going to be doing a wax hand candle. Sorry. <laughs> Like we, <laughs> maybe we do need a little bit of editing. Let's start that again. So today's video, we're gonna make a wax candle hand. What the? F Sorry, <laughs> that was <laughs> that was just absolutely. <laughs> uh, okay, let's get back to this. Today's video, we're making a hand made of wax. Oh my! I swear to God, a wax hand candle. Oh my god, a wax, that's what it is. Okay, let's go back. So today's video, we're making a wax hand candle. Basically, a hand that has wicks coming out of the fingertips, and then you could light it, and it's kind of like cool. It melts down the fingers. Okay, listen up, guys. <laughs> I said, guys, not Google. Okay, suck my ass. I would often show this stuff, but a part of me was like, no, nah, my audiences want to see this. Just, I've been on a roll of like good DIYs. This one is easy for you guys to do at home. It's just the teacher needs to be taught. You know what I'm saying? This was my first real attempt. So naturally there's going to be some that don't come out perfect. So with that being said, let's get into it, guys. Narrator Dan is going to really kind of take you through most of this video. And I'm also going to tell you guys how to do it better. I think that's kind of like the saving grace here is that I can actually show you guys where I went wrong, and then you guys can actually do it right at home. So this is how you make a wax hand candle. And here's what you need, starting with some rubber gloves. Now, I actually got these from the dollar store for $1.50. It comes with one pair, and on the back, it has this like wiener measuring guide. I don't know why, it doesn't work for me because I'm extra, extra, extra large. Anyways, next, you're gonna need some wick, candle wick. This came with 50 yards, in case I wanna make a candle half the size of a football field. <laughs> next, you're gonna need some candle wax. Now, this stuff is actually expensive, as you can tell from my fingers. This isn't a cheap DIY. And lastly, you're gonna need some boiling bags. Pretty much just a Ziploc bag that can be boiled. So first off, we're gonna take our boiling bags and our candle wax. Now this boiling bag kit actually only came with three. We only need one. Um, so set aside the other two for a later date. Next, we're gonna unwrap our candle wax. Now this stuff came connected on one end. It was the most satisfying thing to snap. Look, look at that. It was kind of like a chocolate bar, but it made your teeth hurt and your poo slimy. Uh, and me being impatient, I tried to shove all three of them in the bag at the same time. <laughs> also being persistent, I did it. <laughs> uh, I decided I needed two more bricks just to make sure there was enough wax. And then I set aside the third brick and just let it know that like I loved it still and one day it will have its time. Next, you're gonna diddle some water and make sure that it is hot. And then you're gonna fill up a pot of water. Put that on the stove, crank that baby to max, give it a thumbs up and then drop your bag in. Now at this point, the water won't actually submerge the entire bag. It's totally okay. Whatever the water is hitting will melt and then leave it to melt. This actually took probably about 30 minutes to be fully melted. This looks like boiling water, but it's actually the wax. It's white when it's hard then go see through. So it's almost done boiling. Now we're on to step two. We're gonna take our rubber gloves, candle wick, and a knife or scissors. Now the idea here is we're taking the candle wick and we're gonna feed it up the bottom of the gloves all the way to the top of each finger, just like that. And then we're gonna cut a little hole in the tips of each finger and then feed the wick through. Take some scissors, make a little tiny incision. It looks like a, a very baby, baby Pac-Man mouth. Then you're gonna measure out how long the wick needs to be. Make sure you're leaving about an inch on the tip of the finger and then however far down you wanna go. I just went about an inch outside the glove too. Now I found it easier when I bent the end of the wick. It just gave it more structural strength when trying to feed it through the glove because rubber can kind of make it hard for things to slide. Once all the wicks are through the fingers, you're gonna take some tape and you're gonna tape the wick on the outside of the glove. At the same time, you're also closing up the hole so wax won't come through. And you're gonna do that to every single finger, just like this. Now for this next part, I did do it in my bathroom just in case it got a little bit messy. I diddled some water, made sure it was as cold as can be, filled up this bucket, and to make sure it got even colder, I added some ice. Uh, the colder the water, the better. And now we're pouring in the hot wax. At this point, it was actually leaking through the tips of the fingers, as you can see. And the second that it hit the cold water, it actually made these really cool things like this. Um, but that's like a whole nother DIY altogether. 
the handy thing about that though is like once the wax dried it actually filled in the holes anyways so i was able to pour more wax in then i filled the rest of the glove up all the way and i submerged it as much as possible into the cold water this just helped with the cooling process otherwise this stuff would stay soft for quite some time i took some water and tried to cool the walls of the glove down just because the wax was so hot it actually wasn't hardening at this point, I noticed the fingers were very skinny. So I actually had to sort of like break them and then hot wax seeped down to make more of a round finger. This is where I went wrong, guys. Okay, the tape that I put on actually sort of squished the tips of the fingers and it made them very, very thin. When you're doing this, make sure you use less strong tape, I think. That was just the way I did it. And this is a time lapse of it actually hardening. You can see it start to get a little bit foggy. Uh, this again took probably 30 minutes to, to harden. The big reveal. You can see how skinny the index finger is. I think the tape actually kept the fingers squeezed together. That finger looks broken. Let's cut the glove. Now, this DIY isn't as realistic as maybe my other ones are. Okay, I've gotta be very careful around the hand or the fingers. Okay, the middle finger is broken. Nice, we got the thumb, sort of. <laughs> Shoot. We lost the middle finger. Oh, what a fail. But this is the whole point of why I do these DIYs. I wanna show you guys an honest attempt. The pinky is super skinny. Oh my God, this is the biggest fail I've done in a while, but the premise is there. You guys can make this work. This was my first attempt. So you can see it took on the, the same texture as the gloves. So it's got like a grippy palm. There it is, guys. Where I think it went wrong was the tape part, but the idea, the foundation of how this works is in this video. This guy's no joke right here. Okay, why is it making that sound? Yo, this thing's... Why Why are the flames like a thousand feet high? Look at... Yo, I made a mega candle here. Monster flames? I got you. As long as we have five wicks. We did it, guys. It may not be pretty. But so what? There's some ugly hands in this world. This is one of those. Oh. There you guys have it. I told you it was a fail. If you guys enjoyed this video or any of my other DIYs, please subscribe to my channel every Wednesday. Uh, there'll be a new DIY coming out from me. Follow me on Instagram. That is where I post all behind the scenes stuff. When videos go live, they, they get posted there first. Just at Danography. It's free. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. See you guys later.